Alexandra Palace is a beautiful place. Look at this view. The view is fantastic. Okay, I'm going now to the main exhibition. Let's see. Uh, main show, entrance and ticket. This is the quick haul. Oh, nice! Oh, nice green color. So let's see what do we have here. The handlebars. They are not adjustable. I mean, you can put them up and down, uh, but you can't like, tilt them forward and backwards. Uh, the grips are different as well. There's no suspension forks. The front lights is below the front rack there's no cafe lock and the seat post uh, it's not a dual one it's the single one the classic nice little dog carrier here on the back I turn quick hole. I can say it's quite a nice thing. I mean, after GSD, I maybe not that cool, but it's a uh, 2,000 pounds cheaper than GSD. Don't forget it. The main difference I noticed here there's the lack of suspension fork. Oh, um, it's nice. It actually rides pretty, pretty nice. But I would really like to have some suspension here. Time to ride the HSD finally. Hey, HSD doesn't hold the same capacity as a GSD, and uh, it handles beautifully. Oh, I don't know. I mean. Uh, if I if I if I have to choose, I can't even choose. I love them both. This is turn HSD. Having so much fun testing the bikes today. Woohoo! I say I love it if I haven't had my big load to carry I would use turn HSD for sure now I am test riding the urban arrow this is actually for the first time I never tried urban arrow I think I tried loads of different cargo bikes but not the urban arrow so I want to I really want to try this one Let's see. To be honest, I kind of miss the front loaders. So, so let's see if this thing will impress me. Oh wow, it feels so different. I'm used to long tails already. I was used to front loaders before I got turned GSD, but now I'm really used to long tails. And uh, box bike feels, I don't know. How it feels it feels a little bulky i'd say yeah but still it's kind of nice idea to talk to your children while you're in this thing while they are in this thing mm. it looks really good it looks sleek it looks modern it looks fantastic but i don't know if if i would um, swap my gsd for this one nah no, I like it. I, I really do like it. Beautiful thing, but GSD is better. The next one in the line, the Gazelle. This one. 
looks like Urban Arrow. Let's see how it rides. Interesting. Gazelle. Gazelle Maki. Um, it actually rides like bug feet. And I miss this feeling of uh, riding on the bike, which feels like bug feet. Uh, Urban Arrow doesn't feel like bug feet at all. I mean, uh, it's sturdy, but it does not feel like bug feet. Bug feet got this smooth Dutch bike feeling. And this one got it as well. But I don't know, something with the with the balance of a bike or with the frame it's really hard to balance when you're on a very low speed i wonder maybe it will be easier to balance when you're cycling with the loads in it yeah but it's actually really nice cool design and uh, i've got several compliments while cycling it on the test ride track yeah let's see it a bit closer Red Wagon, the bike which I could not try before I got my GSD. So it's not the mid-drive which I'm used to, it's a different thing. So with this bike, uh, it's actually powers uh, from the it's powers from the back and uh, it gives you this crazy amount of power which is the kind of new but it's kind of cool. So first time when I tried this kind of bike, I didn't like it, but now I think like, wow, um, interesting, interesting bike. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. So jealous. <clears throat> oh, the reason of me being so jealous of this pink color is I was unable to get it in the UK when I bought my bike. So I have the Tabasco Red. Time to try the Michael Cargo. Let's see how this thing rides. This one. Uh, people on the stand said to me that uh, this bike is a like a sensation of this year. Let's see. I will probably be comparing this one to the Red Wagon. Yeah, because uh, they both both have a rear hub. Let's see what I think after the trial. I've got mixed feelings. I've got mixed feelings about this one. So I've got mixed feelings about these bikes. It looks nice. It looks good, especially in the another color, because they have another color like uh, white speckled with uh, like a uh, golden orange dot. Ah, uh, but what can I say about this bike? Um, the motor the motor is uh, isn't okay when on the lowest setting but on the lowest setting is not powerful enough to kind of get you uphill but when you put another setting like the second one it just goes crazy incontrollably like pushes you and i don't feel safe with children with this uh, like a big gap and between first and the second level of assist probably Probably for the like for hauling cargo and for like delivery bikes, it would be okay, but not for children, unfortunately. 
that is looking good. It's a good looking bike. Okay, this is it. I tried loads of bikes today. Lovely. Everybody's packing. I love it here. Yes. Yeah, so nice. Really good experience. Um, what can I say? My final thoughts. I am very, very, very happy with my turn GSD.